CM Punk's presence in AEW for two years has been significant, contributing to its growth and drawing in fans with its star power and compelling storylines. Let's take a deeper dive. CM Punk made his highly anticipated AEW debut on August 20th, 2021 at the Rampage episode titled The First Dance held in his hometown of Chicago in front of a sold out United Center. Described as one of the most emotional moments in pro wrestling history and the debut of CM Punk being singled out by many critics as one of the most important and significant moments in AEW's history. It drew one of the most amazing audience reactions to a pro wrestling in US history. This ended a seven year hiatus from professional wrestling for Punk, making it one of the most memorable moments in AEW's history. CM Punk's first few AEWs were Darby Allen. They faced off at All Out on September 5th, 2021, where Punk emerged victorious, his first match in seven years. Following his debut victory, Punk entered a feud with Team Taz and faced Powerhouse Hobbs at Arthur Ashe Stadium in front of 20,000 people on a special rampage. A highly impersonal intense rivalry developed between CM Punk and Eddie Kingston. Their match at AEW Full Gear 2021 was a hard-hitting, emotionally charged affair. One of CM Punk's most notable foods in AEW is with MJF. The promo battles between MJF and CM Punk reinvigorated interest in wrestling promos for many because these exchanges are some of the best my work in recent wrestling history. Punk's matches against MJF, especially the dog collar match, were highly acclaimed for their storytelling, in-ring psychology and the way they captivated the audience. The rivalry was highlighted by intense promos and culminating high profile matches that showcased their storytelling abilities of both wrestlers. At Double Nothing 2022, CM Punk defeated Hangar and Adam Page to win the AEW World Championship. Five days after winning the title, Punk announced he had to take a hiatus due to an injury, but would remain as champion. John Moxley was crowned interim champion in Punk's place. At the Quake of the Lake special episode of Dynamite on August 10th, Punk made a return and confronted Moxley, igniting a title dispute. Two weeks later, John Moxley defeated CM Punk in a matter of minutes to be the undisputed world champion of AEW. After accepting Moxley's open challenge for anyone to face him in at All Out, Punk defeated Moxley to win the AEW championship for the second time. During the post-event media scrum, Punk addressed rumours that he had attempted to get Colt Cabana fired from AEW, accused the company's EVPs, Kenny Omega the Young Bucks, of spreading rumours and leaking them to wrestling media, and referenced a segment in which he says Hangman Page went off script prior to their match at Double or Nothing. According to wrestling journalists, there was a backstage altercation between CM Punk, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, and they all received suspensions. CM Punk was injured, stripped off his title and was out for 9 months but was announced for AEW's new Saturday Night Show Collision in June 2023, debuting at his hometown of Chicago at the United Center. In typical CM Punk fashion, he opened the show and had a lot to say, I recommend watching this whole promo. Teaming with FTI, they defeated Samoa Joe, Jay White and Juice Robinson in the main event. That same month, he entered the Men's Own Heart Cup tournament and lost to Ricky Starks in the final on July 15th. On the July 29th edition of Collision, Punk unveiled the AEW World Championship belt that he had won in September 2022, declared himself the real world's champion and stated that he rightfully held the title since he was never defeated for it. He then spray painted his signature X symbol over the belt. At All In in Wembley, he defeated Samoa Joe to retain the real world title in a match that I attended and his last ever match for AEW. After the event, it was why I report that Punk had been involved in a backstage altercation with Jack Perry regarding comments Perry made during his match early in the show, itself a reference to Punk denying Perry's quest to use real glass in this segment on AEW Collision. CM Punk was terminated from his AEW contract for Just Cause on September 2nd and rejoined WWE two months later at Survivor Series. CM Punk's journey in AEW has been a blend of nostalgia, fresh foods and captivating storytelling. I believe it was a mistake to fire CM Punk from AEW. 
His presence has undoubtedly left indelible mark of the promotion, reinforcing his status as one of the most influential wrestlers of his generation. Thank you for watching.